Executives are hired to make decisions. As such, it's a topic worthy of study. Evaluate your assumptions. Before you can move ahead, you need to know where you stand. What's prompting you to make a decision? What's the basis for your thinking? What do others think about these assumptions? Are they based upon fact or conjecture? Consider the alternatives. Knowing your assumptions, what choices do you have? Why would you pursue those choices? Sometimes there are not good alternatives. For example, shutting a plant or laying off people. Neither is good, but one solution might be better for the health of the organization. Game plan possibilities. When time permits, you can narrow your options to one, two, or three choices. Consider what happens in each instance. It's like stacking dominoes. Each tip of the domino will trigger a reaction. Game planning may help you plot the best decision. Finally, make a decision. Leaders are judged by their decisiveness. When an executive wavers over major decision, the organization remains in stasis. Nothing happens. A leader must choose what to do and why to do it. In turn, must communicate that decision widely so everyone knows what happens next. Failure to follow these steps may not be fatal. In times of crisis, a leader might make a decision with very little data. She must trust her gut. Doing such when times are more settled may be reckless, though. Some executives put great faith in their swashbuckling ways, and for a time, they may do all right. But when challenges arise that require thinking, going with your gut, consequences be damned, may be foolhardy. Not simply for the boss, but for the entire team. Deliberative decision makers weigh their options, evaluate the alternatives, even game plan possibilities. Ultimately, however, they pull the trigger on the decision. Only the future will determine if a decision made today is right for the future. But a leader has to be decisive when he or she makes that decision. And that's all you can ask.